What's up everyone, Matt HD here. So, quick video for you on how to upgrade your unsupported computer to Windows 11. So the reason why the Windows 11 installer doesn't work is because it tells you you need TPM 2.0, Trusted Platform Module that stands for. All that is, is a security feature that Intel built in um, to protect its uh, firmware from bad actors and basically hacks basically for the CPU. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to bypass that check. This works for PCs as well as Macs within Boot Camp, so all Macs that run Boot Camp um, on the Intel chips do not have TPM 2.0, so officially the, the latest operating system you can run is Windows 10, but we are now going to upgrade it to Windows 11. As I say, it works on any PC, so PCs older than about 5 years old also don't have TPM 2.0, so this method will work, so let's begin. If you're running Boot Camp drivers, graphics drivers, you need to be running a May edition or newer which is 21.5.1 I think. So basically you just go into the downloads um, and make sure you're running the latest driver. So what I would suggest is you can actually go into Windows 11 if you have a newer machine and you can go into the 2022 drivers and try and install January edition. If you have any issues with those then go to one of the older versions. Officially Windows 11 only supports October um, edition onwards. However, if you have an older machine like mine, you go into the Windows 10 option and 2021 drivers, and you go down and you will need to get May edition, which is down the bottom. So if you download May edition, that also works. If you have a PC, you do not need to move to do this, so you can skip this step. The normal AMD drivers will work fine for you. Okay, so what we need to do we need to download a file, uh, the link is in the description, it's called W11 TPM Check Override. I've already downloaded it here, so what I'm going to do is just extract the zip file. You will need to actually extract the zip file, so if you click on it and then you click Extract All, you will notice I'm already running Windows 11, but this um, actually still applies anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. So. There we have it, um, the file is now extracted so you will need to right click on this, then run as administrator, it click yes to allow changes. It will then run this little check thing, and then it will disappear in 5 seconds, and that's all you have to do, right? So that's now bypassed the TPM check. So the next stage is to download Windows 11 from this tab here. So again, a link in the description to the site. And what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to scroll down. Download Windows 11 disk image. Click the plus for before you begin. Make sure you meet all the other minimum requirements. So you won't actually need a blank DVD disk because you can run it straight from the ISO file. You do need to make sure you also have plenty of hard disk space. So I would recommend probably at least 30, maybe 35 gigs. And then you need to select your download from the drop down menu. Multi, Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO. Scroll down, hit download, product language down the bottom. Select your product language. So in this case, go with English. Hit confirm. So you just click that. And then that now downloads. Once you've done that, we'll just cancel that because I've already done it. And you can see I'm already running Windows 11 on May edition bootcamp drivers from last year. Once this file is downloaded, then just double click to open. Um, and then run setup and then uh, yeah it will let you install Windows 11 so if this has helped you please feel free to give the video a like and share and subscribe with all your friends and have a great day